A life of disability is not an easy one. Imagine that you couldn't see where you were going, couldn't hear what your friends are chatting about, or be dependent on reserved parking. Disability means great difficulty, and a non-accessible environment adds to this hardship. At Rhodes University, some students had the chance to experience being disabled for a day. Based on a lottery system, each participant was assigned to be either blind, deaf or confined to a wheelchair as they went about their daily student life. Adrian Hubbard, a wheelchair specialist and Paralympian, was a speaker at the event, teaching how to maneuver with the wheelchair and sharing his experiences of living with his disability. I think South Africa is pretty much on par with most countries. If I were now to be spontaneous and go, obviously all the shopping malls and things like that are, are all pretty good. You still have the problems with uh, able-bodied people parking, the disabled parking, all that kind of stuff, which is normal. But if I were to be spontaneous and go somewhere off the beaten track, I'd probably encounter an obstacle. Another speaker, Tim Stones, is hard of hearing and a disability advisor to Rhodes. Having experienced disability at university, he analyzes Rhodes' state of accessibility. Rhodes is so far behind the rest of the country in terms of its accessibility for any form of disability whatsoever, whether deafness, vision impairment or mobility challenges, than any other college, technicon or university in this country, and that's 18 years after our new democracy was born. What motivation would an able-bodied person have to willingly experience disability? John Fries, a BA student and dancer, wanted to find out if he would be able to continue with his degree if he suddenly became disabled. It's a mixture of feelings because uh, on the one hand, um, being around the students, the students and the people at Rhodes are really caring and like they give you a hand, like that guy just carried me all the way up to the Afrikaans department and he didn't have to, he doesn't know me so, and also people pushing me when I need to, um, helping me up steep ways, um, yeah, that's where the down part comes in because it doesn't matter how helping people are at Rhodes, if Rhodes is not equipped for disabled people. It's just disheartening to always be helped by people, I, I think. The thing is not working. I've been holding the thing down, but it doesn't want to open, so I'm going to try to get the security to open for me. Some disabled people are dependent on signs like this one to determine whether or not they have access to a building. But how dependent is a disabled person on their environment? And whose responsibility is it to make that environment more accessible? I think the environment has, has a large in, uh, impact on, on, on success. I think a lot of people, a lot of potential students uh, would not have even gone to university in the first place because the access is so bad. Okay, so therefore you would have lost potential graduates because of, just purely because of access. Our mental tenacity and our mental strength is key to our own success. But having said that, if the environment is accessible, it makes it easier for us. If people are sensitized to disability and appreciate that we are just people with the same dreams, values, hopes as everybody else, then our challenges will be minimized, our stress levels will be lower, and our ability to succeed will be enhanced. I, I think it's, it's a humbling experience, if anything, for the person, able-bodied person using the wheelchair. I certainly don't take ex exception to, to an able-bodied person trying to, you know, trying to see what it's like to be disabled for the day and make it a week and then see what happens. Some people were for it, some people were against it, some people thought it was good, some people thought it was making a mockery of the process. Um, and we have to respect all these views, but the greatest thing about it is that people are talking about it. And I think the goal of the day was to bring disability out into the open, to not cover it up under a rock, and to get the Rose campus talking about it, embracing it, and dealing with the issue, and saying, we are people with disabilities and we are here to stay. People with disabilities are very easily excluded from many parts of society. At universities like Rhodes, a willingness is needed from decision makers to take part in events like these in order to facilitate that change.